lovely to see you as well. Madam Chair and Commissioners and Committee members, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to join your meeting today. Um, before I begin, I also want to uh, express our support and thanks and gratitude for all of the support we've received from the county and the Port of Miami. It's really been incredibly helpful when we stopped operations in March. If it hadn't have been for the assistance that Juan and the Port of Miami provided Royal Caribbean, we would have struggled enormously with all of our guest and crew repatriations and the ongoing provisioning of our ships, which are all over the Caribbean. So thank you for all of your help and, and support over the past nearly seven months now. As the previous speakers have recognized, the cruise industry is truly vital to the Florida economy, contributing over eight and a half billion dollars in direct spending. And of course, Miami is the home of the administrative offices for most of the large cruise companies, accounting for about 60% of all of the US-based cruise line employment. So Miami truly is the, the capital of cruising. And of course, the Port of Miami uh, accounts for close to 3 million passengers every single year. So it's always been at the very cornerstone of the, the cruise industry. Royal Caribbeans use this time during the suspension to work closely with medical experts and scientists and partners to identify enhanced health and safety protocols to address the challenges that are associated with COVID-19. As uh, Mr. Del Rio articulated, we've created a panel which is led by Governor Mike Levitt, the former secretary of the US Department of Health and Human Services, along with Dr. Scott Gottlieb, the former commissioner of the US Food and Drug Administration, serving as co-chairs. That panel has been working with our cruise companies for the past several months on creating the protocols and the procedures and technologies necessary for us to return to service, protecting our guests, our employees, and the communities in which we visit. We really do appreciate all of the support that we've received during this period from so many different groups uh, as we work through this. We also, I'd like to point out that Miami really is the gateway to the Caribbean. And there are literally 40 different Caribbean countries that are incredibly dependent upon the tourism that comes through the Port of Miami. And we uh, have formed a task force that consists of over 40 different countries. I happen to co-chair that task force along with the Honorable Mia Amor Motley, who's the Prime Minister of Barbados. And we have been working over the past several months on the creation of a universal set of guidelines that dovetail and fit into the work that's being created by our panel and ultimately our collective submission to the CDC. So we're very optimistic that we will be able to return to service. We're certainly better prepared today than we were yesterday, and we believe we'll, we'll be better yet prepared for tomorrow. So I certainly endorse and support all of my previous speakers' words and emotions. I think when you really look at the videos, that I think the video that Carnival showed, it's deeply emotional. And I think that one small story is a story that can be told tens of thousands of times throughout South Florida. And I think to Mr. Del Rio's point, it's time that the cruise industry returned to service and we're ready.